Hello everybody, in this video we are going to work on the single post page. The first thing that we would do is create a new method inside our home controller which would be used to return single post. Here in our method we would accept a argument for the post slug and this is how we would also search for the post in our database. Here let's create a variable called posts and we want this to be equal to the post where the slug equals the slug that we are getting is an argument. Then we would do first or fail so that if a visitor visits a non-existing post they would get a 404 rather than an error. Then we would return another view let's call this post and again we would compact the post variable which would be holding the content of our actual post. Then let's go ahead and actually create this post view. In our resources views folder, I'll just create a file called post.blade.php. Here again, we would extend our main layout. Let's copy and paste that from our home view and just let's set end section here. In the content section, we would need to actually put the HTML code for the single post page. So let's go ahead to our static theme and let's copy the content from there. We don't need the head or the navigation as we already extend that in our main layout. This is the only thing that we need. Copy it and go back to the post plate file and paste it there. Quickly save that and let's go back to our web.php file and let's create a new route. Just type route, this would be a get route and let's call it block and we would need the slug as an argument here and also let's map this to our home controller and the post method. Save that, then go back to your browser. Now if you visit slash blog slash one of the slugs of your posts. I'll go for my first post. And as you can see, we are actually seeing the blade that we just created. One thing that I've noticed is that we are not referencing that in our home page. So let's go ahead and change that. Go back to your home view and find the href tag inside your for each loop. Here in this href tag, Let's put the link to our single post route. Just do slash block slash the post slug. Save that. Go back to your browser, hit refresh. And now sure enough, the links on our homepage are actually taking us to the single post route, which then returns the view of a single post. The next thing that we want to do is actually display the content of that post rather than have this static content here. So let's first delete those HTML tags. Just select them and delete them. And here, all that we need to do is print out the post body, as this is the table where we actually store the content of our post in our database. Save that, go back to your browser, refresh, and as you can see, we actually see the content, but there's one thing we need to change. We want those HTML tags to be rendered rather than displayed like that. There is a minor change that we need to make to our view. So rather than using the double curly bracelets, we need to change them to a single curly bracelet followed by two exclamation marks. The same thing for closing. This is how Blade would actually render the HTML rather than escape the HTML tags. So while we are here, let's go ahead and update the heading. Let's delete this text here. And let's put the post title. Okay, I'll delete this H2 and let's update the posted date. So I'll just Put the post created at value here and save that. 
go back, hit refresh. And as we can see, now we see the post title, we see the date when the post was created, and we actually see the post content with the actual formatting. One last thing that we need to change is the image of our post. So here for the image background, we just put asset, then Voyager, then a static method called image. And here again, we would do post image. Save that, go back, hit refresh. And as you can see, now we see our post image on our page. And this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how you could use the Voyager settings to manage some of the elements on your website.